So we jump into the first Excel we said e date function. And I have a financial statement here. This financial statement is showing the revenue, the gross profit, the EBITDA, and the operating profit EBIT before interest and tax. Now we want we don't want to type uh in form of date here going January monthly. When you're doing the financial modeling, we normally apply formula to predict the future or to do our forecast. So I will apply the E month here. I put my formula here and write the E date, E date. So once you write the E date, it will ask you the state uh, date. So the state date is our date, which is January 2024, comma, and then the end month, it asks you to put the comma and then put the month. So maybe we want a one, one or two. So it depends. And then you click enter. You can see if you put one, it's going to the next month, which is the month of February. So with that, you can apply the shortcut keys by pressing control R. Select what you want to paste your formula across. So you select these. Uh, from even to this, select that and then click the control R, control R to paste your formula across. And very simple. You can see we have already gotten to the, the next month, which is the March 2024, April 2024, May 2024, up to the July 2024. That is great. That one, if you want to apply months, but sometime you are doing a modeling on yearly basis. You are doing a modeling on yearly basis. So we want a model for the January to compare the our financial statement or the PNL report for the January 2024 compared to January 2025, compared to January 2026, all along to the what? Maybe 2030. So in that case, we don't use the month here, yeah, but we use the full uh, month. So instead of one, we put 12 months. So here I will change one to 12 and I put enter. I can see this one is January 2025. Or we can't help 2025, March 2025, and also June 2025. 2025. 2025. So which means you can also predict in one year time. So that is the one function which I wanted to we see today. That is he dot he dot. We move on to the next function. We move on to the next function, which we say the weak num function. The weak num function, very important. The weak num function, or even before we look at the weak num function, let's look at uh, how to get the number of days. Most of the time I've seen I've worked in a manufacturing industry. I've worked in other consulting service industry and I've seen most of the procurement people, they do struggle most when calculating the number of days that the, the product will be shipped from maybe China to Kenya or to the Mombasa custom office. Why? Because they don't know how to calculate these number of days in Excel. So today we are going to use uh, to, sh to, to see how we can get the number of days so assuming that this item or the small table here is being shifted on this date, that is the date will be on uh, 28 on 1st October uh, of the October 2024. So also you need to be keen on the now on the format of date. If you go back to the home, these customs, you need to go to the custom here and confirm the format of your date. Our date, it is in form of the first is date and the second one is month. You look at this one. So I think the format of the date is okay. So now to calculate the number of days, you just need to put equal signs and then click your date. You say minus. How do we get today dates? If you have been in my advanced Excel class, you know how to get today dates. We write today. So write today, write today and close the bracket. Or when you click enter, you the, it will ask you to accept the correction. And then yes, see. So you can see uh, it takes 27 days to be shifted after today. So it will take 27 days. So you copy paste your formula downwards and you can be able to look at the number of the number of days. 
the number of days. You can be able to look at the number of days. That sounds great. Another one is the week numb. Okay, from uh January to the uh, from January to today, or how number of the number of weeks. So we use the num or week num in Excel to calculate the number of weeks, to calculate the number of, of weeks, to calculate the number of weeks, which is very simple. You just straight go to the Excel formula equals to the week num, week num, and it will ask you the serial number. So our serial number is today that is a serial number and then uh, you just click enter there is no return so you can see the number of week we are 40 40 day, uh, 40 weeks so tomorrow it will be 41 because here we are using today function remember if you use equals today function if you open these files tomorrow you will get tomorrow date so the number of week also will change to 41 for one so it's very nice it's very good for the uh, accountants and also it's very good for the financial analyst we move on to the week uh week or network days we move on to the next excel network days Network days is very important when calculating the payroll, when calculating the pay, uh, the payroll, or even not the payroll also. It, it's apply in so many scenarios. It applies in so many scenarios. Maybe you are paying your casual based on the number of days they have work. You are also paying your employees on a pro rata basis, on a pro rata basis. Also, you want to calculate the number of days that the product should take uh, from shipping from China to Africa and uh, excluding weekends, excluding weekends, excluding weekend and holidays if you wish, and holidays if you wish. So we will use equals uh, network days, network days. So it will ask you the start date. So our start date is the date of shipment and then not that is not our start date our start date is today so you can include another formula here remember the nested function we say if you combine more than one function we call it the nested function so we put the network days our network days in bracket today and then comma it will ask you the end date so the end date is our the shipping date our shipping date and then you close enter you accept that one. You can see here it is a uh, working days to shift. So 20 working days to start shipping that uh, that item. And then even here. So this one is 39 working days so that we can start shifting uh, shipping this product. That is the bedside light. So it is good when having the report or if you are managing the procurement side, you are managing the procurement side, especially in the imports and the custom duty. So that is uh, another Excel. Another Excel which most of the people don't know when to apply. We don't know when to apply. A good example that the, these people of Kenya priorities of standards can come into your office and ask you a specific app, any other kind of data and within a given period of days you need to provide this data like they will ask you how many uh, how many numbers of employees do you have give us the list of the employees you have give us the age of each and every employees maybe they want to calculate the the, the revenue like uh, if you want to estimate how much they will get from the pay of uh, of all the employees in five years or in 10 years, they will have to calculate how many people will go into the retirement in five years, how many will stay in employment in five years. So you as an accountant, they remember, or the HR, you will, you, will, you are the one having this, that, this data. So you need to provide them the list of your employees and the age of your employees. So the best uh, thing to get the age in Excel, it is very simple. I have a small staff uh, data here, which I have the staff ID, not necessary, the name, 
of uh, employees, the division or the departments. We have the marketing, finance, legal, sales, executive, and also the marketing. We have DOB. DOP is uh, the date of birth, not something strange as it is the date of birth. From there, we have now to calculate the date. So we are going to use the formula called the date dated if. We are going to use the formula called dated if. We are going to use the formula called dated if. So I will come here, say equals uh, dated, dated if, even though it will not pop up, it will not pop up, but you have to write dated if, close the bracket, close the bracket, close the bracket. Yes, so you can see it is this one. And then you write today, you write today, and then um, just a minute. So we say it, we put uh, equals and then date, dated if, dated if, Close the bracket. That formula will not pop up. I don't know why. And then it will, uh, our date is this one, comma. You put a uh, today, today date. Put today date here. Okay, write today. Close the bracket. And then comma. That we need to provide the, uh, remember you have done the text function. You know how to get years when using the text function. We put the opening quotation. Uh, put Y, which stands for years when it comes to the text function. Close the uh, closing opening, those opening quotations and those all things. I know you understand that. So open under the closing and then you click, uh, you close the bracket, enter. So you can see this guy who was born in uh, 1st of January 1997 has 27 years. So it is at 27 years old. So once you have done with one, you only need to double click here. And the formula will be what? It will copy paste. So someone who was uh, born in 1958 up to up to now, he has uh, 66 years. So you can see if you have a big or a huge data of your employees, you can easily get the date uh, and the, the years, the number of years within a few seconds. So that's how we do in the data analytic paper and also in advanced Excel. We do have our classes which run from early morning classes we also have the evening classes and also we have the videos which you can access through our website www.gilsamcpa.co.com and also you can get us through the conduct that is plus two fifty four seven one seven six one eight seven nine eight we help you to master this excel which is very crucial when it comes to the a data analytic and financial analysis so thank you and keep on also sharing our videos and keep on commenting where you don't understand